Who wants to see a magic trick? No one? Oh, well then forget it. Hey everyone, I'm Bupix and welcome back to Let's Play Warrior World. Now, I'm going to be starting off the first level of the final world. I was talking pretty fast there, don't know what that was about. Anyway, this is Mirror Mansion. It's a pretty interesting level, but it's kind of difficult at times. I mean, it's one of the final levels in the game. What, you expecting it to be easy? Why are you expecting it to be easy? You dumb. You dumb. You dumb. Nah, anyway. For all, like, the two people who watch this, sorry this took a bit long getting up. My laptop's hinges were broken. I had to fix it, but it took a while for the parts to come in. I don't think I have to explain this. It's just like the one in Shivering Mountains, except longer. And again, if you mess it up, you have to leave and try again. Did Mario come out of that faster, or is it just me? Watch out for these blocks, they can crush you. And it hurts, and Warrior goes all flat. Come on, just get out of my way, stupid blocks. I hear ya, I hear ya. Yeah, use the C-Stick to change perspective so you can see better in upcoming mirrors. Come on, get out of the ground. Get out of the ground. Spin. No, spin faster. Nah, he's too fat. Stop shooting cannonballs. It's rude. These woodpeckers are pretty annoying enemies. I want to go in here. I said I want to go in there. Stupid woodpeckers won't even let me go into places I want to go. And just go around this way. More woodpeckers. Come on! Dang it! I'm getting more disoriented by these mirrors than I usually am. I swear I don't usually get this messed up by them. No! You, help me. Thank you. This can be a pretty tricky one. I should probably not be zoomed out that much. There we go. These rings move faster as you get further along. You should only jump when they stop moving and you're closer to the center. Just take your time. Otherwise you get flung out. And there we go. And getting that chest now. Jump. A mirror in the mirror mansion. Who does it get? Dog puppet. Bad dog puppets. Bad dog puppets. I'm pretty sure you can kill the mice in these wheels, but I don't think it does anything. Just leave the mice alone. Ow. You know, that is really rude, so I'd appreciate it if you'd stop shooting stuff at me. These lion things, punch them and they start moving. You can ride on the glue glob on their tail. I don't know what's causing them to move. I can put them here. Ow. Come on, dog. Come with me. And that is a pretty terrible portrait. It's just a face. Spent a lot of time painting that one. Fire and electricity chase you, other stuff just drops down. Really, nothing too special. The main picture spawns a dude, and you just pile drive the ground and damage it. What a stupid picture. Oh, hey, big guys. How you doing? 
Obviously, those are like the other big guys. Punch them enough, they lose their club. Punch them some more to stun them. Is that a clock? And I hate these guys. You have to ground pound them to get them out of a sleeping bag, I guess it is. And then, and only then, can you kill them. Yeah, just some jump in here. It's not that difficult of one. And like other things like this, you want Wario to latch onto the edge. If he latches onto the edge, like he's supposed to, and stops being a jerk. And if we continue off this way, you can get more stuff, assuming you don't screw up like I did. And I just jump when the blocks get close to you, and you should scale this area quite nicely. And we get a gold piece. I like how the clouds in these sublevels are cloudy. Wait. I like how they're dark and storm-like. I think you can kill these guys with a swing ding, but I don't really remember. See, you can't damage them by throwing them like that. Normally you could. Eh. You. I need you to activate a switch. Come with me. When you do knock them out of their sleeping bag, they start throwing locks all over the place. Which is weird. This game is weird. I don't know how many times I have to keep saying that. I don't think I need to explain here, just use the reflection of the mirror to tell you where you're going. It's pretty cool. Off this way, past the guys, and the woodpeckers is a chest. Come on, let me dash. <coughs> ah. Chip on the globes. And accidentally fall off because I was kind of disoriented. This center chain here can be somewhat difficult to jump on. Just because of the perspective and everything. Give me the chest! And now we just jump across here. And down this place. If you're on a block when it shifts, it kicks you off. So just look at the timing and jump. Not that big of a deal. Do a swing ding to get across here to get the gold piece. And ignoring these hangman birds, drop down here for a battle arena. But that's it for this part of Let's Play Warrior World. I'm Buffix. I'll see you in the next part, when more Mirror Mansion happens. Bye!